Hey everyone, um, I just wanted to do a quick video to show off uh, a couple of brand new Beatles releases um, that I got from Amazon um, this week. We've got the Beatles broadcasting live in the USA in 1964, and we've got the Beatles live at last. Um, both live albums, um, and they've both just been released like, very, very recently, um, I just thought I'd show you them. I'll show you the live at last one first because this one didn't actually come with shrink wrap like the other one did, um, which is unusual because most modern releases do. Uh, anyway, I'll show you at the back. Um, as you can see, it's a lot, a lot of the earlier material. Um, a lot of these tracks will repeat on things like the Ed Sullivan show. Um, I, I haven't actually heard this album yet, so I don't know if them. If, if those two cones are on here, but anyway, um, these are presumably all live recordings of all the early material. This is an independent release, uh, Coda Publishing, 2015. Uh, interestingly, it says not for sale in the USA. Um, I don't really know why that would be, um, but oh well. Um, I'll show you the inner sleeve, which is essentially exactly the same sort of design with the Union flag um, and it just tells you a uh, little bit of information there um, oh yeah look I've just noticed it tells you everything it tells you where all the tracks are from so yes I was right with the Ed Sullivan show um, more Ed Sullivan show uh, we've got one from Melbourne Blackpool uh, London Palladium and the BBC Saturday Club so this all this is all 1963, 1964. So still quite early Beatles. Um, and I'll show you the vinyl. And this is on coloured vinyl. It is on a nice red vinyl. Very shiny. Um, there's side one and side two. Um, I do like coloured vinyl. Um, I've noticed a lot of modern releases are on the coloured vinyl as well, which is very, very good. So I'm, I'm very happy with that one. I think I'll probably give them a listen after this, actually. Um, so that's the first album done. And now for the second album, The Beatles uh, Broadcasting Live in the USA in 1964. Um, this is still sealed, by the way. Uh, as you can see by the nice shiny... Shrink wrap. So first things first, let's crack this beer be open. Right, got the uh, trusty knife. Right, let's get it open. Easy does it. There we go. Right, so let's first of all take a look on the inside. We've got a picture of the four Beatles there. And we've got a nice big bit of chunky writing. Talking about some live performances. Um, again, this is from Corda Publishing. The album Beatles fans have waited for for 50 years, apparently. Um, got some credits down there and I'll show you the back um, we've got uh, two Ed Sullivan shows on this one on the right I believe is the first one and on the left is I think the second one um, interestingly it's got Love Me Do and P.S. I Love You as bonus studio tracks so I've decided to put them on there. Um, and I'll show you the uh, vinyl. Oh. And this album is on, oh, that's nice. A very nice looking uh, blue vinyl. Very light blue as well. Um, 
Corder Publishing. There's that side. Yeah, yep, that side one. And here is side two. Yeah, two. Two sides of Good Life Beatles tracks. So one of these albums is on red vinyl and one's on blue. Um, I suppose they're almost like companion albums in that respect. Um, both independent ones, I believe, from Coda Publishing, you know. Um, but yeah, I'm uh, I'm very pleased to get these actually, and I look forward to hearing them both. Uh, I'll yeah. Again, for some reason, it's got um, not for sale uh, in the in the USA on the back, which I think is weird. Um, but of course, you can just purchase these from Amazon, you know. So um, I'd highly recommend you do because they're very nice. Um, look like quite high quality pieces, and I look forward to hearing both of these records um, just after this video. So thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.